Today's the day that I sit down to chat with Kelly. She and I haven't spake uh, since she quit the monologue. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out why she ain't text me, why I came to church, she ain't talk to me. What's up? Why are you not talking to me? Hey. Hey. It's so much going on. People quit monologues. People thinking the world is against them. So I'm trying to get a sense of what the feel in the room is as we stay back home. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How you been? Good. Seriously. Kelly. I've uh, been seriously? Yeah. You can tell me why you haven't spoken to me. And then... All right. Roll! Jeffrey, roll! Jeffrey, roll! She yells for her husband. This is not looking good. Jeffrey, roll! Coming up on r and Divas. At the end of the day, I came in singing Kumbaya and everybody else was singing F. Kelly. Nobody's after you, Ma. Nobody don't want nothing you got. This is not TV. This is real life. Did y'all see Megan? Yes, I know. <laughs> Seriously. Kelly. I've uh, been seriously? Yeah. You can tell me why you haven't spoken to me. And then. All right. Roll. Jeffrey, roll. Jeffrey, roll. She yells for her husband. This is not looking good. I'm not pulling publicity stunts today. I can assure you, Jeff, um, it's not a publicity stunt. She wants to address why I'm not speaking to her. I told her she really wants to have a real conversation with me. I texted you and called you and you never spoke to me. So, I mean, I'm cool. All you have to do is be a grown woman, as we are, talk it out. And now I feel like I'm being backed into a wall. Tell my husband to come down so we can make it a fair playing field. And I got on heels. So, you know, I came in peace. I turned straight Baltimore. And I'm just like, let me go get my husband so we can balance this thing out. Because right now, this ain't. This ain't what I signed up for. Come downstairs now. Some of the things that Kelly is doing, it's not even called for. My homegirl, my big sister, the one I was riding for, when I decide to continue doing the monologue and I didn't fall back like you, that's when I noticed the shift. But at this point, we need to discuss this. Okay, I'll tell you why. I do want her to come back to the monologue. I think that she's a very instrumental person in it. Did we just say we're not having this conversation? I'm not doing the monologues. What are we talking for? I'm not even willing to sit and be spoken to about something that I'm refusing to have a conversation about. At the end of the day, I came in singing Kumbaya and everybody else was singing F. Kelly. Who did so, that? So, who did that? This is where we at. But everything that you've done, I've been there. I've always supported you. You I think everybody's against you. And I had your I didn't back. say that either. No, yeah. I didn't work. Nobody hates you. And I hate that you feel I've that way. I never said that everybody like that, hates that me. Hurts, that hurts me that you feel that everybody, everybody hates that me. feels that way. So. When I told you, man, I don't like that. It is what it is. I bought my family right. And I'm taking it personal Gosh. because I have four kids out here. And they still stuck out here because of rehearsal that that girl had my husband cancel his work for. Did she come in there and quit? While my kids sat at the airport for 12 hours. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, is anybody kidding me? This is not TV. This is real life. No, because this is real life. When the other ladies decided that they wanted to take an idea that did not belong to them and turn it into their own thing, I made the decision that I didn't want to be a part of the shenanigans. Remember one thing in all of this. I've never lied to you. I so be careful who's in your ear. Because nobody's I in my ear. On, this I'm like, oh I can my stand God. on. I've never lied to you. You turn 40, and that's when you're supposed to live life, not act like the world is against you. Nobody's after you, Ma. Nobody don't want nothing you got. I, I didn't come to try and change him. I was going to say, come back to the monologue, but... Come back to the Shantae show? That's not my concern. I'm working on my own thing. It's unacceptable at this point. You wasted Fred's time, my husband's time, my children's time. From this point on... Little Mo has nothing else to say to Kelly Price. Sorry, I tried.
very proud of us. I'm proud of you. Today is the day Not Your Mama Monologues is going up, and I am super excited. It is the idea that I presented to the ladies um, several weeks ago, and um, unfortunately it didn't come together with all of us, but it did come together, and it is wonderful. What they were trying to do was nasty, it was underhanded, and I didn't appreciate it either. I think that um, it says a lot that we were willing to move forward when some of the other ladies decided to change directions. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's okay. And take really the is. project that I presented. Yes. Right. And run with it. Okay. Dawn clearly remembers the night that I threw Shantae a birthday dinner in my home and asked the ladies to do this project with me. And with that, she decided that she was going to do the original idea and not be a backstabber and take it and try to make it her own. This is the original idea that I presented. We're right. moving forward with it. God bless. God you know, speed. And I gotta say, have I gotta, a great show. Exactly. Come on, girl. We got rehearsal. Next time on R&B Divas. Phone. <laughs> Wait a second. Do you know about this? What's that? Not your. Oh, um, not your mom monologues. Kelly and Dawn, they're doing old monologues. Oh, huh? Is what is going on? Listen up. If you don't want to do your own song, then don't do your own song. Fred, you I ain't mean, been this mean this whole time. We've been rehearsing. We are in big fat trouble. If we don't really, really focus, it's not gonna be cute. We're gonna make you a shirt, and then you wear black in the second act. So then you. I might not be in the second act. Why not? I don't know. I'm. I'm having second thoughts.